Hey guys, welcome back to Digimon Survive. Uh, last time we just got back from the digital world or wherever the fuck we were and are back in the real world again. Uh, it's been like a week or two since I last recorded since I had so many recordings and I was still moving into my new place and uh, no, I'm pretty much all moved in. It's just the shit's still like laying around because I've yet to organize anything like an idiot. But you know, I thought it was a good idea to finally start recording some more Digimon Survive. The summer is pretty much over, but that doesn't mean that Digimon stops. So, summer of Digimon, get the hell out of here. We're going into overtime at this point. So, yeah, we just got back from the digital world and are now hanging out with, I guess, fixed Miyuki or something. And then Agumon's just kind of having to pretend to be a stuffed animal. So, I don't know. Uh, let me just check what was going on. I think we were just trying to tell the old woman that Agumon is a, uh, a stuffed animal. So, I don't know. Phew, that was harder than I thought, but she bought it. Yeah, she was pretty shocked. But by what exactly? Hmm, by what? Come on, I told you to stay hidden, Agumon. Hehe, <laughs> sorry, but you were taking your time, so I started to get curious. He's, he's kind of like Curious George, but he's yellow and can breathe fire. Which means he's better, so, I don't know. <laughs> Also, I don't know, I, I've checked my audio a bit. It's not super echoey, even though I'm in a giant room. Uh, so I'm okay with it, but we'll see how bad audio quality might get at some points, who knows. I guess Agumon couldn't help it. He's bound to be curious now that he's in our world for the first time. But if anyone else sees, sees you, we're gonna be in big trouble. Here, hold my hand and pretend to be a stuffed animal from now on, from now on. So all I have to do is hold your hand? Not quite sure I get it, but if you say so, I, he just really wants to hold my hand. Hold Takuma's hand. You know, I think you're supposed to identify with the main character because you're able to choose how he acts, so whatever. <laughs> oh jeez, let this work. So where are we going now? The school, I guess. We might be able to find some answers there. What about you, Miyuki? Are you okay with that? Yes. There's something I want to check on at the school. All right then, let's get going. Yeah, let's go walk down a mountain. I guess we're just gonna, you know, forget about Minoru and everybody. They can go fuck themselves. We're going home, I guess. <laughs> Something about what that old woman said bothers me. And then Miyuki's reaction. A mass disappearance, huh? Does Miyuki know something about that? Huh? Miyuki, is something wrong? You seem upset. Oh, it's... Nothing you need to worry about. Is it something you'd rather not talk about? Well, I'm not sure you'd believe me if I told you. I believe everything you say, Miyuki, because I like confirmation bias. Whatever that means. <laughs> yeah, same here. I definitely just agree with everything. He seems to be very able to do that. <laughs> Besides, we came from another world. It doesn't get much more unbelievable than that. <sighs> I guess that's true. Here's the thing, Takuma. Everything's felt wrong to me since we returned to this world. Even though I'm sure it's where I came from, I don't recognize anything about this place. What are you saying? Look, this might be a weird question, but what year is it right now? This year is 2020. Two years ago, I guess. 20, or 2020, 2020, I guess you can say it like that. I always just call it 2020, but whatever. Dumb me, 2020? So it's true. This really is a different time. A different time? What are you talking about? This must be a different era from the one I lived in. Huh? Could she really be from a different era? Is that even possible? And you're sure this isn't some sort of mistake or misunderstanding? It can't be. When I lived here, the shrine wasn't some abandoned ruin. And what's a computer? I've never even heard of one before. It's all different. Everything's changed, from the scenery down to people's clothes. Nothing is the way I remember it. So you tell me, Takuma, what do you think is going on? But that can't be, can it? That would have to mean, is, is time flowing differently? What do you mean? It sounds like the flow of time in your world is different from this one, Agumon. We were in that world for days, but here it's only been a few hours. And it's also an entirely different era now than the one I grew up in. What? What am I supposed to do? Miyuki. She doesn't look too good. I think we'd better find somewhere to rest. Good idea. 
We're not far from the school, so we can just head there. Think you can make it, Miyuki? Hmm. <laughs> Dies. She's crying. It may, it, it, I, I guess I made a crying sound. It made it more like I've got stabbed and are now screaming, but... Well, that, well I wasn't really screaming. It was more like I'm just kind of, like, moaning about it. Like, I don't like getting stabbed. I don't think anybody would, except for... I, I don't know. I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> it must be quite a shock to return to this world only after finding it's not really your own. So, the digital world flows uh, slower than the real world. And the real world goes faster than the digital world. Meaning that we've only been here for a couple of minutes, so most likely everybody is just kind of hanging around in the factory waiting for us to come back. <laughs> Yeah, we finally made it. You finally made it. It's funny. After all that time in the other world, now the school looks wrong to me. In this place, this looks like where I went to school. Only a lot nicer somehow. Probably another result of how much time it's been since Miyuki lived here. Even having made it back, I still feel like I have no idea what's going on. So, what are we going to do now, Takuma? What do you mean? We came here to rest, didn't we? Yes, but there's still a lot we don't know. I was thinking we should look into things. You mean you want to search the school? I don't know about a search, but we can find a teacher and ask what's going on. In that case, we should probably have Agumon hide somewhere again. What? Again? You need a fuck off. Uh, forget it, just rest. Hide Agumon. Find a teacher. Uh, you know, Agumon, you need, to, you, need to get, you need to get some schooling in. Let's go find a teacher. Let's go introduce you to a teacher. Yeah, if, now that I think about it, the more I think, the more I think we should start by finding a teacher. I'm sure they're looking for us after all. Maybe they know something. But if that's what we're going to do, sorry, Agumon, but you're going to need to hide. Again, but I want to stay with you, Takuma. Everything worked out before when I pretended to be a stuffed animal. I'm coming too. No, you're not. That, that trick isn't going to work if any of the students notice you. I'm sorry, Agumon. Huh. <sighs> Fine, but you better come back soon. You better come soon. Pfft, I guess I could. Okay, Agumon, you need to hide in the bushes on the more shaded side of the building. Remember, that stuffed animal trick probably won't fool the students like before. So you'll just need to be careful and stay out of sight, okay? <laughs> it's like kind of like playing hide-and-go-seek. Or hide-and-seek. I always said hide-and-go-seek, but whatever. Pfft, more translation things. Hide-and-seek, huh? Well, I can do that. I'll hide so good, nobody will ever find me. Not even you, Takuma. I'm running away. <laughs> he just doesn't want it ever. He doesn't even want to see Takuma anymore. Ha, <laughs> you better. All right, let's head inside and see what we can learn. We'll try and find a teacher. I don't want to find a teacher. Come on, I just want to go back to the digital world. The digital world. Pfft. We don't even know if it's called that. Man, this looks a whole lot different than, what, than the fucking... Uh, no what the digital world actually looked like. Man, it's just unlocking everything. Won't it be a free battle? Free battle. <laughs> How did he get here? <laughs> That's kind of strange. Voice crack. Why the fuck is Blue Maramon just hanging out in the middle of the real world? I have a feeling not everything's fine. Maybe we're not in the real world? I don't know where we are. Oh, there's people. I should try talking to the other campers. Hey, random dude 69 and random dude 47. How you been doing? Random dude uh, 47 doesn't want to talk to me. All right, tall boy. <laughs> Did you hear? The people who went camping have gone missing. For real? For real? God damn it. Every time I hear that, now I can just stare at my picture of Ryuji. Where is it? It's somewhere in here. There's my framed picture of Ryuji. Just remember... To teach myself that I am for real. <laughs> what happened? I haven't heard any details. A teacher's been running all over looking for them. We're supposed to just wait here for now. Holy crap, this is worse than I expected. Takuma, they're talking about you and your friends, aren't they? Yeah, I think they are. The teachers and students still have no idea what happened. <laughs> and they don't even they don't even recognize that I'm the one who's missing. I've been doing a lot of <laughs> today for some reason. I don't know. That's just how you laugh. Also, Miyuki, are you okay? Just, I've got you right in my sights. Don't worry, you'll die instantly. <laughs> well, I don't know. Sometimes headshots don't kill someone instantly. You could 
miss the brain. Like, sure, they'd be damaged for life. And we'll die pretty quickly, but in video games, it's like, oh, you, you shot a little bit below the head? They're not dead. They need a couple more shots. <laughs> I should try talking to the other campers. Can I get some tea? Maybe we should... Actually, one thing you should do, Takuma, is, like, call your mom. Because, you know, like, you had your flashback to your mom. Maybe you should call her and say, oh, I'm okay. I'm just going back to the digital world. She's like, what? You better not be doing crack, son. The te- a boyish girl. Like, it, I thought it was mannish boy. Alright, the teachers. They went all- they went- they all went off somewhere. Maybe they're looking for the campers that never came back. There were a lot of them. A lot of them. He, either they got caught in a landslide, or they stuck around to check it out. Lots of people still haven't showed up at the school. Some people left to school to go check out the landslide, apparently. And the teachers must be really freaking out over this. Well, you know, you just want to go see a dangerous thing. Like, you know, there's a tornado coming. You just want to go outside and, like, stare at the tornado, like, run at you and kill you. <laughs> Miyuki's confused. Why? Why? Miyuki, what's wrong? Oh, it's nothing. I just got surprised when that TV turned on by itself. Oh, yeah, someone must have used the remote. Looks like it's set to the news. You mean now you can turn on the TV from far away? And hey, that image is in color. The picture's even nicer than the one on that big one I saw in the electronics shop that one time. Remote controls and color TVs are things that most of us take for granted these days. Sounds like a lot has changed between now and when Miyuki lived. She said 50, the old woman said 50 years ago, so that would be 1970. Though I'm having the opposite experience. This says that it's today's news, but the date's the same as when we left for the shrine. So it's true. Hardly any time has passed since we crossed over into that other world. Yes, but not for me. Apparently it's been ages since I was taken. At first I didn't think it was possible, but I'm sure Miyuki's not lying. Some of the things the some of the things the professor told me. That photograph when we were in the other world, and that incident. The old woman said it happened 50 years ago. I feel like it's all connected. Could Haru and Miyuki have been swallowed up by the other world 50 years ago? Takuma, look! What? Huh? What? Huh? Oh no, it's me! It's me, local co-worker, co-worker, uh, re news reporter Jimmy. Uh, my eyes don't cover my eyes. <laughs> I'm trying to say glasses, oh whatever. The location they're showing the news story. It's not far from the shrine. It says several students go missing from camp after major landslide. So it did make the news. Oh, this is bad. This means somebody could recognize me as one of the missing kids. If they find out I came back, but nobody else did, they'll ask about the other for sure. But how can I explain what happened? Probably about time to get the hell out of Dodge. T Takuma? Huh? What now? This story. What story? Is there something else on the news? Bimmy died. Huh? That cable car looks familiar. And the story is, Axton had a defunct cable car ropeway. I recognize that cable car. Do you think it's the same one? It has to be. Sounds like Miyuki's thinking the same thing I am. But wait, what's this next story? Abandoned factory collapses and landslide blocking nearby roads? It's the same place. Do you recognize it too, Takuma? Recognize it? We were just there. That's where we fought Piedmon. I knew it. That must be what's going on. Wait, did you figure something out? A landslide at a shrine, a cable car accident, and a factory collapsing? What could it all mean? What did Miyuki just realize just now? Isn't it all just coincidences? Or could she have known everything from the start? Uh, let's see. Have you always known? Can you spell it out? Uh, have you always known? Miyuki, don't tell me you've known about this all from the beginning. Hmm? Have you known about what's happening in both worlds at the same time? Have you known why this is happening to us? Known about everything and just kept quiet about it? Takuma, please calm down. There are some things I know, but I think it's nothing like you, what you think. Please, you have to trust me. I didn't, I didn't expect that response out of Takuma. I thought it would be like, do you know what's actually happening? <laughs> right. I'm sorry. I guess I got caught a little bit carried away. But I want to tell I want you to tell me what you know. Otherwise, okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you everything I know. But first, I think we'd better go somewhere else. You're right. If we stay here, someone might overhear us. 
You need to get the fuck out. And also, I don't know how anybody's... How nobody's recognized uh, that Miyuki's clothes don't look right. Okay, I don't think we need to worry about anyone eavesdropping on us here. Right, so I'll start explaining. But you have to understand, this is all guesswork on my part. I think the world we're in right now, this world, and the one that we got dragged into, the other world, are connected. That makes sense, otherwise we couldn't travel between them. Oh, okay, she's, she's gonna draw it out for me, because I'm stupid. That's not what I mean. I'm saying there's an accident in the other world, then a corresponding event will happen in this world. Mm -hmm. That would explain those accidents we saw in the news just now. But how? Remember what happened with the cable car and at the abandoned factory, Takuma? The cable car and the factory. What was it that happened to us there? Wait, I've got it. So that's what this is about. The site of the cable car accident is where Ryo died. And the landslide happened at the factory where we fought Piedmon. So you're saying that those two world influences affect each other? That the two worlds influence each other. As if they were overlapping? To be precise, I think things that happen in the world have an influence on this one. Then there's someone there's something else that those places have in common too. Which could be more proof. They had something else in common. Really? What else links those places besides the location? A shared feature of both worlds. You mean, the fog? Exactly. In both of those places, we have to deal with that fog. Whenever something happened, the fog would roll in and cover the whole area. So, in other words, bad things happen when the fog shows up in the other world. And then that has some sort of effect on this world, too. Is that it? I think so. But that's terrible. The fog showed up here at the school in the other world. The others might still be there. What if something happens to them? And we're the only ones who know about this, Takuma. Which means we're the only ones who can do something about it. Wait, so you're saying... No, come on, you can't be serious. But I am. We're the only ones who can save them, Takuma. I would think that Takuma would be down to do this anyway. Because he wanted to save Miyuki, so... It would seem like he'd be fine going back to the world and... You know, saving his friends. We're the only ones who can save them. We have to go back to that other world and save them. But what can we do? We don't even know how to get back. Oh, but we do. Hmm? You saw how my song was able to join the two worlds, right? It's my ability. Passed down in the Minase family for generations. I can join the worlds again. Wait, passed down in the Minase family? Wasn't that the family name the old woman said it lost a daughter in the mass disappearance? Yes, that was me. I thought so. Does that mean that you and Haru crossed in that world 50 years ago? Apparently. So those two spent 50 years all alone in that world? That's crazy! Man, my head's starting to spin again. I need to stay focused on the big picture. Anyway, you inherited this strange power that could take us back there. But let's say we did manage to return to that other world. What do we do about the fog? The master is the one who controls the fog. The master? From Doctor Who? The one who robbed me of half of my soul. The same being who consumes children in the other world. Come to think of it, Arukenimon and Piedmon did say they were offerings for their master. But why did this master steal half your soul? Fifty years ago, when I was drawn into that world, there were many other children that were taken as well. So at first I thought I was like them, brought over by chance. But I wasn't. What, what the Master's really after is the blood of the Maiden. In other words, he's after you? Right, the Master covets the holy power I inherited as a member of the Manasse family. And he wants to use that power to satisfy a grudge that goes back hundreds of years. So this is all about some ancient grudge? This is insane. Please, Takuma, I want you to help me. I want to bring an end to the Master's hate. Also, I'm starting to remember that that painting in the beginning of the game with the woman staring off against the monster which i know which digimon that is but could that digimon be the same thing as the master that could be what it's talking about i don't know but not just for me for my brother for haru we need to stop the master stop him how are we supposed to stop him i don't know but we can't just stay here and do nothing 
more than anything, I don't want to leave Haru all alone. Miyuki. Besides, if that other world falls apart, I doubt this one will fare much better. You're right. I know you're right, but... But what about... What are we supposed to, what are we supposed to do? Whatever's happening, it's big. Big enough that it could mean the end of both worlds. To be honest, I'm scared. I can't imagine what I might be able to what I might be able to do to stop it. But Miyuki wants to go back. She wants to save her brother. And it's not like I want to just ab abandon the others. I want to save them too. But I don't see how I can. I don't have that kind of strength. I'm just a kid. I don't have superpowers. What am I supposed to do to save the world? But can I really turn my back on Miyuki? What am I supposed to do? I'm powerless. I'm scared. Uh... I'm going to say, uh, I can't leave them. You know, Miyuki, I don't want to abandon the others either. I want to save them. So, does that mean you'll help? Here's the thing. I don't see how anything I can do can possibly make a difference. I, I'm just an ordinary kid. I didn't inherit any special powers like you. Sure, I fought with all I had in the other world, but really, when you get down to it, you've got Agumon, don't you? Haven't the two of you always found some sort of way to, to rise to the challenge? Yuki's right. Every challenge I've faced so far, I've been able to overcome with Agumon on my side. But why should this be any different? It shouldn't be, really. I know it shouldn't, but... I don't know. I feel like somehow, coming back to this world turned me into a coward. Takuma, please. Well, you, you know what I would do? Go back and kill someone. I just... Don't know what I should do. Takuma? Takuma, is that you? What? It is you. You're okay. Oh, teacher. Or just sensei. Why didn't you check in with someone? Do you know how hard we've been looking for you? Maybe you haven't heard, but some students have gone missing. It's terrible. Uh, sorry. You were in the group of Minoru, weren't you? What happened to the others? If that's a question that needs answering, then they probably didn't make it back. Not that I had much hope that they did anyway. And who is this girl? Oh, I'm, uh, oh no. Actually, I got separated from the others. I wound up completely lost, so I had this girl show me the way back. Isn't that right? Oh, yes, that's exactly what happened. I lived nearby, so I knew the way. I see. Well, even if it's just you, Takuma, I'm glad you made it back safe. I hope the others are okay, too. The teachers must be all convinced that the others got caught in the landslide. Listen, Takuma, I want you to wait here in the school for a little while, okay? You too, miss. It's probably best if you stick around until things settle down. I can't believe this is happening. The landslide alone would have been bad enough. Wait, you mean something else happened besides the landslide? Yeah, some talking bear monster thing apparently showed up near that old shrine. Apparently it's caused quite the scene. A monster? But how? Oh, I'm sure it can't actually speak. It has to be some sort of mistake. The witnesses must have been scared out of their minds. Considering the timing of those reports, I wonder. A strange monster that can talk. That can't be Agumon, couldn't it? No, no, Agumon's hiding nearby. Which only leaves one other possibility. Takuma, you don't think? Yuki's face just went white as a sheet. Oh, this is bad. I don't like this at all. Could this really be who I think it is? Takuma, I have a bad feeling about this. Hold on, we can't be sure of anything yet. For all we know, it could be Minoru and Falcomon or any of the others. But if it were, don't you think they'd know how to avoid attracting attention like we did? She's right. Besides, if we really didn't come back alone, there would be only one other monster nearby. Do... Do you really think it's him? What's gotten into you two? If you're worried about something, you know you can tell me. Miyuki, we need to be sure. Right. Hey, where do you think you're going? Sorry, but we really have to go. First, we need to get back to where we left Agumon. Sorry, Sensei. You can fuck off! <laughs> sorry, sorry, Teach. I gotta go to the local McDonald's. Agumon, sorry that took so long. Hooray, you're back! I got so tired of waiting. We'll have to talk later. Right now, we have to hurry back to the shrine. What? Why? What's going on? Come on, Agumon, let's go. Agumon seems ready. He's ready to fight. Hey, Takuma, is that you? You made it. 
Fuck off, kid with glasses. Whoa, what's the rush? Takuma, Miyuki, wake up! Shit. What the- what was that? That- that, that didn't look like a costume. That, don't worry, Digimon are real, bye. <laughs> and that's all I've got to say to him, just, Digimon are real, bye. Uh, uh, what was that now? Some kind of monster, obviously. It was on a rampage. Takuma, did you hear that? Sure did. Not a good sign. We should tr we should pick up the pace. Hey, stop! You two really don't want to go that way. Takuma, Miyuki, slow down! What's going on? Ah, it's another monster! Yeah, fuck off. <laughs> My monster will kill you just to get you out of the way, I guess. Wah! Takuma, are you okay? Ah, I got so worked up, I tripped over my own feet. But yeah, I'm alright. Hey, where are you rushing off to? You don't want to go that way, it's dangerous. Takuma, we have to hurry, or... I know, just a second. You look like you fell. Are you alright? Don't worry, Takuma's got me, so everything's gonna be fine. Ah! It's... it's a monster! Stay back! Oh, we don't have time for this. Miyuki, Agumon, let's go! Get around this random fat dude! He looks kind of like me. At least my beard, I guess. He hasn't got a mustache, though. My mustache is great, because it's a porn mustache. Oh! Oh, hi, Piedmon. How you doing? Ugh. What is this place? Where am I? What's going on? Is that some sort of cosplay? Everyone stay back. This area is so unstable that even the inner shrine collapsed. Humans, and so many of them. What's going on? I was swallowed up by that maelstrom, and then the master. Did he betray me? Ah, who is that? What's going on? Sir, I'm not sure what you're doing, but I want you to turn around and come quietly. Ah, enough. He killed that old man. <laughs> old man Jenkins, or other old man Jenkins. Takuma, did you hear that? And I know this feeling. Takuma, there's an enemy up ahead. Enemy spotted. Damn it, this is just what I was, what I hoped wasn't happening. Takuma, look! Hey, Piedmon, how you doing? It was Piedmon. He's here in this world. Only something's not right. He's covered in wounds and looks absolutely furious. Oh, oh no, this is awful. Shrine's been completely collapsed. Even the inner shrine must have been destroyed. Huh? The inner shrine? What's that got to do with anything? Is there something important inside? But I shouldn't get distracted. Right now, we need to find a way to deal with Piedmon. Hey, kids, this place is dangerous. Stay back. This is bad. Back. Everyone get back. Beep. How can this be? Master, did I not serve you well? Why is this my fate? Piedmon. Miyuki, stay back. He's out of his mind. Piedmon, you're wrong. Wrong? How am I wrong? Your master, he's not what you think. Do not speak such lies. Oh no, Piedmon's going to attack Miyuki. Uh, get Agumon to help. Agumon, do something. I don't know if I'm strong enough to protect Miyuki myself, but I know someone who is. Agumon, please, you have to protect Miyuki. You got it, Takuma. I'll do anything you ask. He's going to go, yeah! Miyuki, over here, now! Right. Urgh. Traitorous human lackey, does your treachery know no bounds? You will pay for flirting me right now, for farting me right now. Please, would you just hear me out? I don't know what you hope to accomplish with your trickery, but it isn't going to work. You've got it all wrong. All I want is for you to listen to me. Miyuki, stay back. But I need to get through to him. Does she really think she can convince Piedmon? I don't think she has much of a chance. I'm going to drag you back and regain my master's favor. That's not how it works. That's what I've been trying to tell you. More lies. Believe me, I know. The whole time my soul was lost. I saw the world as your master did. He never cared about you to begin with. Lies and deceit. Why should I believe you? You speak only in falsehoods. Not a word you say is true. I will not stand for much blasphemy against my master. It's no use. Any more of this will only make things worse. We have to st stop Piedmon now. Agumon, 
On it, Takuma. Ready to fight whenever you say the word. And the word is a bird. I will start slaughtering these. I will start by slaughtering these pests. And then I will return you to the Master Maiden. Here he comes, Takuma. Right. I don't see any other way around a fight right now. I can save my second thoughts for later. Agumon, we're doing this. Let us stab a clown. We're really good at it, though. We kicked your ass. <laughs> but then again, uh, we don't have all of our friends. We only have uh, Metal Greymon. But then again, uh, like, he doesn't have any of his friends either. So I'm just going to hope that Metal Greymon is enough. <laughs> we can't really... Well, we can grind, but it would involve me going back into the free battle thing and grinding for quite some time. So I hope it's going to be okay. He's a hard fight. Somehow, Agumon is fine. Whoa, this is crazy. Can you believe this? You think this is from a movie or something? No way, this has got to be real. The smaller one couldn't possibly be a fake. Hold on, let me get some pictures. Somebody really wanted a picture of Agumon and Piedmon. Hey, you three, this place is dangerous. You shouldn't be here. Go take shelter. And then on 4chan, uh, pictures of Agumon fighting Piedmon were posted. Somebody put Agumon on 4chan, which would be an interesting thing. Also, he has friends. Uh, good thing I'm allowed to bring my friends, too, but my friends suck. Uh, I wish I could... I don't know what, I don't know what you are. I think there's a data and a vaccine. So, I'm going to take this. Uh, I only have one more, uh ultimate so we're gonna have to go with this combo it's a pretty bad combo but you know it should work <laughs> i'm gonna hope that just i can outlast them i can outlast piedmon if i'd done some more grinding on my my lower level digimon maybe i would have been a little bit better but you know it'll be okay i just need to uh because what level are these guys at Level 36, like 10 levels below. We are 10 levels below him, but I think we can do it. Can we do it? No, we can't. Hide in the corner. Hide in the corner. Hope that they come closer to me and just, yeah. I'm going to move you all the way over here to deal with them. And then Agumon's going to just have to destroy. He's going to just have to go out and destroy. Uh, right here? That's a weird defensive motion for Anjuamon, but I guess it makes sense. Like, you know, putting her wings up to defend herself. Alright, time to Digivolve. There's not much time left in this episode. Only about two minutes, but, you know, that'll be fine. We can at least do something. Uh, just moving one forward should be fine. Try and trigger Piedmon to come closer. Come closer, you big fuck. That was unreal. So freaking cool. It's like something out straight out of a movie. Ugh, this is the last thing I need right now. Hey, let's get closer so we can take a video. Sweet, this is gonna blow up on social media for sure. Man, can the cops just like, you know, calm down the paparazzi? <laughs> Literally one turn happened. Nothing happened. Okay, good. <laughs> Piedmon, where are you running to? Take this. Take my shit. He's just throwing swords at people. Whoa, that was a close one. I almost got hit. Yikes, watch out for the debris. Everyone stay back. This is really dangerous. You need to keep your distance. You're gonna die if you stay here. Just thought I'd let you know. Because, <laughs> you know, he's big and he doesn't want you alive anymore. He really doesn't want me alive either. Okay... This is... Okay, uh, I guess I'm fine with this. I'm fine with this, I guess. I knew something was gonna happen. I guess I... He did throw that in the show, so I guess that works. Now he's got higher attack. He's going to get high. I, I, I can teach him how to get high on crack. <laughs> uh, this does, like, no damage, but whatever. We need to do some kind of damage. He just does a weird dance move. He's like, oh, 
Uh, okay. So the plan is just to kind of hope this works. <laughs> to hope this goddamn works. I don't think I'm close enough. Mm, uh, maybe if I could have gotten there, that would have worked. Uh, I'm just going to sit right next to it and, you know, hope for the best. There goes the timer. That sucks. That sucks. Anyway, we're going to end the episode here because, you know, I want to keep it at a good time frame. So, next time on Digimon Survive, we're going to go ahead and uh, hopefully beat up Piedmon. I don't know how we're going to do it, though. So, I'll see you guys next time.